Well, hi there, food friends. It's Kevin. Hey, food friends. It's Ralph behind the camera. And welcome to Cavalcade of Food. And Ralph, it is cocktail time. All right. We're making a sidecar, a bourbon sidecar. Nice. This drink sometimes is also made with cognac, but we're going to do the, um, the bourbon version of this. What do you think? A beast of bourbon. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this is another one of these old time, old style uh, cocktails. It is. And a, not overly complicated in right. terms of ingredients. So we like that. We like that. I'm going to put some ice in the shaker. Okay. Um, so I'm going to, the recipe for the cocktail is in the description because um, there'll be all kinds of problems if the cameraman doesn't get a drink. And, um, but no, of course, his payment for working the camera is a cocktail. <laughs> That's right. And um, so I'm gonna make a double batch, okay? So what I'm putting in here is twice the amount for a single recipe. Um, You're lucky I'm easy. I know. So we'll just keep that in mind. So I'm going to give both measurements, but the, the single recipe is down below in the description. So we need some bourbon. Uh, and this calls for two ounces of bourbon. I'm going to pour four ounces. Oh my gosh, come on, I hope we make it. Since you're making a double. Yeah. Wow, look at that, Ralph. Yeah, you still got some to spare. Yeah. Um, Do you have a recommended bourbon to use? Well, whatever. I mean, this is Old Forester. Use whatever you like. You found that in an Old Forest? And so, okay, two ounces of bourbon. Then you need an ounce of triple sec. Oh. Now I'll use two ounces because, again, we are making a double here. So does yeah. triple sec have any it's booze orange. in it? It's I know, but yes, it does have alcohol in it. Um, you could also use, if you want, wanted to, you could use Cointreau, you could probably use Grand Marnier, um, but standard recipe is triple sec. Okay? So, so far, because, so good. Um, actually, Grand Marnier, you know, the, I believe is, a, is an orange flavored cognac, so stick to the triple sec. I take that back. Okay. Um, okay. Then what you need is you need an ounce of lemon juice, fresh squeezed, if you please. Mm. Uh, we're making two, so I've got two ounces of lemon juice we'll put in there. And then you need an ounce of simple syrup. And because we're making two cocktails, I'm going to use two ounces of simple syrup. I just want to say people should always make enough for two because you don't want to drink alone. That's sad. That's <laughs> that's right. So there's our simple syrup. So you've got the bourbon, you've got the orange, you've got a little tart um, acid with the lemon, and then you've got the sweet. Well, okay? triple sec is also sweet. Yes, you're right. But it's, it gives it an orange flavor on top of that. And you want to shake, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it until you feel it get nice and cold. So I'm chilling a couple of cocktail glasses here, Ralph. I read a little history on this drink, and it does date back to around World War One, named after the motorcycle attachment. Oh, really? Okay. That was popular uh, or invented around then, and different places claim to be the originators of the sidecar drink, but um, the Ritz in the, in Paris seems to be the general consensus of the first time use of this drink or creation of this drink back in 1922, I believe. Wow, does that look tasty good. Now, I have... Um, Garnish? I have got some nice lemon peel here from the lemon that I squeezed. Uh, for the lemon juice, so we will garnish with the lemon. You could also garnish with a orange peel, would be just fine. And that, my friends, 
is a bourbon sidecar. Boy, this is a cavalcade quickie. So. Salute. The store of ya. To our food friends. To our food friends. Wow. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, you get the, you get the kind of the bite of the bourbon, but it's tempered mm -hmm. so well with the sweetness and the orange flavor. Yes. The lemon. Mm, and the lemon, yeah. This is a good drink. A good sip and drink. Yeah. Uh, very nice. And don't you have too see, many because then you'll right. be uh, slip and slide and not just sipping. What were you um, going to say? You can see what? The, the recipe I made, which was double, will actually make four of these glasses. I could have made a, just a single recipe and we would have had just two. Oh, I see. So, because they're sm these are small but, glasses. But these, these are small. I mean, yeah, we're not you know, children. We're not kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh brother that's the understatement of the year anyways um bourbon sidecar easy to make uh it's so tasty good tasty good sweet a little tart um it presses all the buttons and uh served chilled in a cocktail glass and you've got a wonderful drink this would be a nice one for the holiday season i think too. yeah uh, so it's a good um summer drink a good holiday drink it's a good all-around drink and mm. um it does have kind of an old-fashioned flair or flavor or mm -hmm. so, sort of a feel to it so, yeah um if you like um a whiskey sour yeah this is not the same exactly but it's in the, in the, in the it's that, in the ballpark yeah it's in that ballpark you um, would like this because you can taste the whiskey but it's not uh you know super strong yeah. it's just right with all the elements around it so yeah we recommend the bourbon sidecar and uh to our food friends wherever you are uh a toast to your good health thank you for watching ralph thanks for working that camera drink responsibly again yes and the recipe is below and we will see you again soon right here on cavalcade of food cheers bye everybody